So our, our goal here is here's our collection of data. These are my inputs and my outputs. So I've got my domain and my range. I've got my independent variable, hang on Olivia, and my dependent variable. Now I want to come up with a rule that connects them. Now this one might be real easy to spot, but I want to kind of go slow to be sure we're all in agreement of how to get there. Olivia, you have a guess right off the bat? Uh, yeah, what if we have um, f x equals x plus 5? Hmm, close. Close. If I do, here's a, you said times 5, right? Plus 5. Plus 5. So our guess is the function is going to be x plus 5. All right, so let's check it. If I plug 2 in, hmm, no, it didn't work. All right, so let's try, ladies, let's try another guess. What's something else that might be connecting this data together? What's another operation I can write that might do it? There are no decimals involved, but there are, I'll tell you this, there are two steps. You have a, a, a guess? Let's see. Let's see what happens. Okay. So guess. Um, the function is going to be 5 times the number. Now, I'm thinking this plus 5 that we first kicked out is not a bad idea, because if I look, each of these is going up by a factor of 5. It's a good guess. So, but when I increase my dependent by 5, that's actually a product. So let's see what happens when I put this in. Uh, let's see, 2 times 5 times, let me write it correctly. 5 times 2 gives me 10. Shoot, that didn't work. Oh. Okay, so if I guess this, if I do times 5, because that's the amount I'm going up every time, and then I add 3 to it. Because that's really the difference between 13 and 10. I know my intervals are 5. Yeah, that's why I can see here, so I know I'm multiplying by it. If I add 3 to it, let's see what we get. f of 2 is 5 times 2 plus 3, 10 plus 3, 13. Ha! Now, before I commit to my final answer, I should test at least one more point, possibly two or three. We'll do one more just to be sure. So let's test f of 4. 5 times 4 plus 3, 20 plus 3, which is 23. Aha, that worked too. Our rule must be 5x plus 3. Now before we walk away from this problem, let's go back and look at the initial set of data. The interval between my outputs was going up by 5 each time. And that's what my multiplier was. File that away, guys. That's going to be a very useful rule in figuring these out as we go forward. And then I can also figure out the plus 3, because once I do it and I check, I say, oh, I'm off by a factor. I'm off by three items. Maybe I just need to add that on. And then I'm in good shape. What questions do we have here that I can answer?